Hi, I'm Rachel, and I hate it. My best bedroom experience. Yes, yes, I know. You're probably wondering why I would hate my best bedroom experience. But I'll tell you in just a minute. But before that, leave a like, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from this channel. I'm 25 years old and I live with my boyfriend in an apartment. My mother has been in a coma for almost two years now. She was in a car accident and I'm just thankful that she survived. My dad and I are still hoping that she would wake up one day and we could all live together again. I work as a lawyer secretary while my boyfriend Pump is a software developer, so he usually works overtime and there are even times when he wouldn't come home for a couple of days when they had a deadline to beat. We've been together for almost a year now, and even though our lovemaking tends to be boring at times, I don't have much to complain about because he's such a wonderful boyfriend. One day, I got a call from Dad. Hey, princess, the house needs major repairs, and I was wondering if I could sleep in your place for a week or so. If not, I can just check in at a hotel or something, he said. Dad, what are you talking about? Of course you could stay here. I'm sure that my boyfriend would understand, I replied. I have been living on my own since I turned 18, and I kind of miss having my parents around because it was actually fun. I visit my mom at the hospital at least three times a week, but dad goes there every single day. He goes straight to the hospital from the bank right across the street where he works as an accountant. When he got home from the hospital, he would cook dinner. After dinner, he would watch TV before saying goodnight. On his last day in our apartment, something weird happened. I was bending over the oven to get the cookies that I baked some minutes ago when I heard a camera shutter go off. When I turned around, my dad was there, staring at his phone. I brushed it off though. I mean, he's my dad. I don't think he would do such a thing. That same night, I went to bed early, but before that, I wasn't so sure of the time my boyfriend came back home because I couldn't see the clock and my room was dark, but I was aware of what we both did on the bed, and trust me, it was super amazing. Who said we need the lights on to have a good time? We made love and had a really good night, although he was quiet the whole time. I only heard him moan when he reached climax. Oh. I was about to ask him where he learned how to do the amazing trick he did with his tongue, so I decided to turn the lampshade on to see his face more clearly. But just before I reached for the lights, he stood up in a hurry and ran out. I was so confused as to why he did that, so I got off the bed and went after him. And unfortunately for me, I couldn't find him. I became worried, so I called his phone three times in a row, and thank goodness he finally answered. I asked him why he ran out on me, and he said he had no idea what I was talking about. Pump, you think this is a joke? I asked. He then said he didn't know what I was all about, that he was still at the office, but he'll be back home in an hour's time. As soon as I heard this, it made me really think. So, if it wasn't Pump, then who did I have sex with? When I finally came back to my bedroom, I found my dad's phone just lying there on top of the chair. What? I can't believe my dad was behind all this. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Let me know in the comment section. I'll be excited to hear your opinions and what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to share the video, like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload from us. See you in the next one. What are you waiting for? The video's over. Come on, go watch another video on the channel. Go, the video is over.